morning. What's up? Welcome back to Drive Mod and Joy. It's another weekend, another time where me and myself and Blake get to work on things. Why are there two of you and only one of me? Did I say me and Blake? You said me, myself, and Blake. Okay, anyway. <laughs> uh, what are we doing today, Blake? Uh, I'm adjusting the shift boot on the Skyline. Nice. So last weekend, I did not make a video of this, but you guys might have saw it in the uh, snorkel video. Actually, installed these Pelican boxes on top. Super easy, just drilled through four, four holes on the bottom. And then, of course, the snorkel is doing amazing. One thing I didn't show on camera is, I don't know if you guys can see it. Let me zoom you guys in. When I was actually clearing in it, there was actually a hole that I went through the plastic and I ended up taking it off and plastic welding a new piece in and it is fantastic. I was really happy with that. I was talking about the plastic welding I did on the, oh, uh, yeah. the air box. It almost looks like it was made that way. Exactly. So talented. So Blake, oh, so it's been a week. No, is it just been a week with your Skyline interior or two weeks now? Not very long. I don't know. So, I will say one thing we didn't show in the video. <laughs> I broke this piece. It was already broken. It was already broken, but I re-broke it after I fixed it really nicely, too. Oh, it looked good. Like, I was happy with it. So, I did break this. So, one thing I did without Blake's permission is... I got him a brand new one from uh, Australia, actually. And actually, Blake, it looks better than. It fits way better than the the old one did. The old oh. one was warped. I also did the uh, the LED dome light. Oh yeah, he did an LED dome light needed. It looks really. And cool. you'll notice he tinted the skyline. No more rear speaker nonsense stuff. Yeah. Or being blinded at night. True. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna pop this out real quick. Yeah, do it. All right, so while we're in the car, so Blake did this dome light. Did you do this one? Uh, I didn't even know that was there. Am I that dumb? <laughs> nah, I, I guess I'll pop it out and see what kind of bulbs they are. I don't remember this even when we were re We did install his new mirror, which looks fantastic. Dude, I don't even remember that. What ha did, weird, okay. So this thing's out, this ashtray. So we took out the ashtray. Oops. Obviously you guys have seen this. Um, he's going to put this way lower. So it shouldn't be that bad. So yeah, today is kind of dedicated to just like little cleanup things that we can do around with the cars. Um, we have some other big parts pending and another car coming home hopefully soon. Um, so we're going to work on the Bronco a little bit today, the Skyline a little bit today. Maybe adjust the bumper on the Tacoma today. Maybe. That would be something we could do, Blake. The Tacoma. What level of effort does that require? It's really heavy. <laughs> All right. We'll see. The weather is so nice today. It's really pretty. Uh, makes me want to go for a shirtless motorcycle ride. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I figured you were kidding. What's the one thing that's weird about this shift knob? The top? Uh, yeah. You know, I have T-handle Allen wrenches that would work much better for something like this, but they're buried. There we go. I'm just gonna thread this guy on back down there. Okay. Make sure he's good and tight. Why don't you just take off the whole thing for now? That way you can just slip it off. Yeah, I guess you're right. And then just use a new zip tie to put it exactly where you want it. Mm -hmm. Well, the problem is, is the, the zip tie that I put on there, I put it on there. Here, I'll show you. So the shifter is two different sizes. Yeah. Or it tapers down. Um, I would just put it maybe at the bottom this time. Uh, I'm going to... I'm gonna do it down here closer to the rubber boot. Oh, okay. So yeah. it's exposed. That'll be cool. Yeah, I think it'll be better. Just put it way down, right? Oh yeah, that's that's really tight. Yeah. Okay. So probably like mid. 
like here ish. Yeah, I'm gonna see how far down it'll go. Blake did a photo shoot yesterday with the skyline. Yeah, super fun. Um, at some point, we'll see that same guy do another project for us. He's very talented. Yeah. Very talented. And once my car is back, my new one, my new old one. Your new old one. Once it gets back from paint, where it has been for six months. Has it been six months already? We dropped it off in October. Oh, wow. Dang. I can't, so, I can't wait to get it back, dude. November, December, January, February, March, April. Six months. So we're going on seven months right now. Yeah. Wow. It's going to look so good, though, dude. It will. I mean, they'll see. Ugh. They'll see. All the parts we have pending. I can't wait to see it. Okay. I think that's a good position for it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you have to re-zip tie? Yep. Yeah. And it's cool, so... The way, this is, by the way, so Rob ordered this for me, like right when I got the car, one of the first things I wanted to do was the steering wheel, because it had this super ugly, do you even remember what brand wheel it was? It was a fake wheel with whatever yeah, it was. It was like yellow, vinyl, or le it was horrible. It uh, did not fit the theme of the car. No, and I guarantee you... Uh, and th this is at no fault of J-Spec. I love J-Spec. They did an awesome job. Um, I guarantee you, though, the wheel in the car was super screwed up when they got the vehicle. So they just put one on that was laying around. Or maybe that's the one with, that came with the car. I don't know. Uh, but it was bad. So the first thing I wanted to do was a steering wheel. And I got the Nardi with the gray stitching. Rob found somebody in Poland. Was it Poland? Yeah, it was Poland. That makes like like they're made to order shift boots and parking brake boots, and uh, they had black leather with gray stitching. It matched perfect. So he ordered them for me as a gift, and they're just made so well. I'm very very happy with it. You, the e brake was the big thing. The e brake handle before. I mean yeah. the boot was so bad before, but it's. I don't know. It's one of those like little creature comfort things. So yeah, these are real Nismo parts. You can get the fake ones somewhere, but no, these came directly from Japan from Ningun. Ningun? Ningun? Ninjun? Uh, Ninjun is honestly, they've been really good to us. Yes, they take a little while to come and you're, you're essentially using a third party to for them to buy the parts in Japan and then ship them to us. It's it's a pretty cool service that they offer. I mean, it's a uh, it, they're they're an awesome company. We've never had an issue with shipping. Oh, the packaging. Packaging. It's the packaging fantastic. Is second to none. Like they put stuffer boxes in there. They don't use all the little packing peanuts and all that stuff. It's it's really nice. All right. All right. What do we think about that versus before? I like it. Personally, I do too. I like it a lot. Okay, I took two screws out, but I have three screws. This was in here from before. We found it on the floorboards. Oh, that's a speaker screw. Yep. 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 Oh. Easy peasy. That's so much better. I can't wait till you do the next upgrade in the interior. <laughs> it's gonna be a while. I just had to pay my taxes. Well, I think we all had to pay our taxes. Yeah. Not fun. Not fun indeed. But no, what he's talking about is uh, seats. So the seats that are currently in the vehicle are from an R32 GTR. Um, and I like them. They're, you know, they're comfortable enough. They're I mean, they're cool seats. The problem is, is this car never had tent on it until I owned it. So everything's just super faded out uh, as far as seats go. So I'll either get some like Recaro's or maybe have these reupholstered. The problem is not just the upholstery, like the, the bolstering and the padding is starting to deteriorate yeah. a little bit too. All right. What do we think? I think it looks great. Not bad, huh? Not bad. This looks great. Better than before, for sure. On to the next? Yeah. All right, so 
What is this leather conditioner you keep talking about? So this is Lexol. Uh, it tastes terrible, by the way. Um, I've never actually used this. This was recommended to me by uh, Jason, the guy that wrapped the Lexus seats. Right. He said this is the only stuff he So uses. how does it work? Why is there two bottles? So there's a cleaner and there's a conditioner. Uh, I actually just cleaned my steering wheel yesterday. Uh, so I'm not going to use the cleaner. I'm just gonna put the conditioner on it. You can kind of see the leather. Here's a good spot. It's a little wrinkly and starting to dry out a little bit. Leather is supposed to have like a soft, kind of supple feel to it. Um, it's not supposed to be hard. So we're just gonna put a little bit on the corner of the sponge that comes with the kit. And we are going to drop it all over the place. Press. Ooh. So you put it on, it says evenly disperse, and then let's soak in for about 10 minutes or so. You can already see the sheen difference. How's the smell? Doesn't really have one. That's good. Yeah. It's so much work. <laughs> it looks good though. Yeah, yeah, it's already doing something good. Just because you can't see the back of the wheel does not mean don't apply it to the back of the wheel. Although you should with the sun. Oh yeah. Now can you also get like the stitching and stuff? Yes, yeah, so this can get on the stitching and not cause any issues. Okay, and then you wanna act, wipe the excess off of any non-leather surfaces. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. And then you just let that kind of sit for about 10 minutes and wipe it off. Cool. Get that inner edge. I think that's the only place I saw. Nice. Good stuff. Can you find this stuff on Amazon? Uh, yes, so this kit I actually purchased on Amazon. Uh, shout out Amazon Prime. Sponsor us. Sponsor Anyways. us. Cool. Do the boots too? Uh, might as well. It's already out, right? Yeah. I will say it is really nice that that's connected. It's not going anywhere. Yeah. It's not disintegrating every time you drive your car. It was horrible before. All right, interior of the Skyline is conditioned. Yep, and what else, what else, what else? Oh, have I shown you these? No. These are lottery tickets from Japan. So this, I think this is like a, um, a car wash stamp card. Let me zoom in. I can't read Japanese, so I have no idea. Stamp D present card. Yeah, Idemitsu. Maybe it's an oil, Idemitsu. I don't know. Maybe it's an oil change card or something. I don't know. But then I have a lottery ticket. Uh, obviously not a winner or it wouldn't be in here. I'm trying to see if there's a date on it. It's so cool though. Yeah. Car, uh, what do they call it? Archaeology? Yeah. It's something the 6th. Oh, let's see. October, no, excuse me. February 7th, 2009. Really? Yeah, it's from 09, so it's 14 years old. Good luck charm. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep that in there. Next time I buy a Powerball ticket, those will be my numbers, I guess. Sweet. Cool. On to the next. touch that. Oh. Oops, it's okay. All right, so there is one thing that's been bugging Blake, and he's looking at it right now. So, I think, do you think the black trim paint on these, the same stuff we used on the interior? Yeah. Yeah? I mean, it's made for trim, like black, like the black trim on the outside of the vehicle. Yeah. You know what would also be really cool? A single, like, center post wiper. That'd be super cool. I think that's like 2001 style. But it's cool. Race car. Don't do it. I won't. <laughs> All right. Let's open this. So, do these come off? Surely. Surely. They have to. 
show the engine bay. Stock engine. It's not completely stock. It's pretty stock. For now, we haven't we haven't shown them on YouTube all the pending parts. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. HKS intake, HKS SSQV4, HKS oil cap, HKS rad cap, PRP, PRP, PRP R35 ignition coil conversion, uh, and then a JJR stainless downpipe, test pipe, and then a Tomei full titanium exhaust. Yeah. So let's see if we can get these wipers off. I'm gonna guess 15. Is it 14? I think it's a 14. Yeah. Those would be nice to refresh. Oh wow, that was uh, on there, huh? Yeah. Well, let's hope they come off without a puller. You know what we actually should do, Blake? Mm -hmm. What? Paint the arms, mm -hmm. go to AutoZone, get new blades. Yeah, we could. Yeah, we should. We should. We should. We have to go to the auto parts store today anyways, don't we? Or the hardware store? Maybe. But I think that's probably the best bet. That way we can just paint the arms. Actually, at that point, can't we powder coat the arms? Uh, well, I think there's, there's like rubber and plastic. Not once you take off the blades. And there's a spring on the back of it that I don't want to like damage with heat. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, don't know. I say send it. Just powder coat? We have black, right? It would last forever. We have black, don't yeah, we? Yeah, and we haven't shown powder coating on the the channel. Okay. I would just powder coat it black. I mean, coming down? Yeah. Yeah, because these blades aren't actually part of the assembly. It's just the arms. Yes, they have a spring, but that spring's not going to be affected. Hood back up. That's what I was afraid of. I think they're going to be, like, more or less seized on there. Uh, trim panel stuff. No. I've learned a couple of tricks. So you can take a socket. And Is this specific to wipers? Mallet. Oh, I'm confused. Be careful around your windshield wiper, by the way. I mean, your, your windshield when you do that, by the way. Does that actually loosen it up? Yeah. Oh my God, there's a razor blade underneath my wiper. What? Yeah. No. I just saw that. There is. Hold on, let me zoom in. Where did that come from? No idea, but I know where it's going. Scary. Ah, this is what I was afraid of. Seized. Yeah, it's on there pretty good. And of course, Blake got it off as the camera shut down due to heat for some reason. Yep. So yeah. Yeah, that's just an easy spring we can even undo. That is, that's no big deal at all. So you think we can powder coat it? I think we should powder coat it. Why Let's not? show powder coating. Okay. All right, y'all, so this is our powder coating stuff. We'll show you here in a second. But as you guys can see with the arm, we got the arm off successfully. Mm -hmm. um, we're gonna use the scotch Bright and zip it up. Is that the right pad? I'd use a red, use a red pad. Um, and then you'll see how this all works. What Easy. These? Yeah, uh, is that scotch spray? No, mm. that's like a, these are our bag of, of stuff, so. All right, montage coming in, cleaning up these.
Okay, wiper arms are off. I'm gonna work on taking this cow piece off now. It should be that one weather stripping piece runs all the way across and the cow should come right up. And then Rob is over here giving us a clean powder coating surface on these. On the second one. First yeah, one's no. already done. First one's done. I don't know where it's at. Oh, there it is. So, you can see this one's been cleaned up. It's got no more overspray on the outward facing surfaces. And Rob has, what is this tough? What kind of tape is this? Uh, it's like a silicone tape specifically for powder coating. Yeah. So he's taped off the part that has the threads in it so we don't get a powder coat and ruin the surface to where it doesn't fit anymore. So I'm gonna take the cowl off. Update. We decided to take the cowl off while we were under there because A, the cowl has overspray on it. Hello, Croc. Um, so that needs to be repainted. We're gonna use the SEM trim paint. And then the windshield has a good amount of overspray on it. I'm gonna clean that up with a razor blade while I'm under here. Alrighty, so this is our DIY powder coating setup. You can get everything at Harbor Freight. So we're gonna go matte black. Um, we're just having this little setup here. It's just hanging. And then the lead is directly connected to the arm. And this is one of the, by the way, to powder coat something like this for reference would be probably be a couple hundred bucks minimum. Right, Blake? Uh, yeah, I mean, like, so our, our wheel repair guys, they charge us $100 to repowder coat a wheel. That's a wheel. So something like this, I mean, if you did two or three at a time, 7500 bucks probably. Now, how much does this whole thing cost? This whole setup, like everything, all the materials to, to clean sand, the powder coat, the machine, the cooking tray, everything was less than 100 bucks. So, believe it or not guys, you can powder coat at home and it's cheaper to do so, I promise. Now, can we do um, big, like, I don't know if that'll screw on, what does it? I don't think it's the same size. You might have to do it in the actual cup. Yeah, we're gonna have to go to one of the hoppers that came with it. Which is fine. So we can't do wheels, but we can do little parts like this all day. And the only reason we can't do wheels is because- Size our, of the engine, size of the oven. Our oven is too small. And I don't think you're gonna need a lot for this. Just pour in half and see how it goes. The powder coat, you can, this black, we pick up at Harbor Freight but I recommend um, Prismatic Powders and Powder by the Pound as good companies to get this stuff. Prismatic is actually the other company, the other color that I have inside for the brakes and for the valve covers. Oh, the Skyline. For the Skyline is uh, Prismatic. Yeah, be super nice. Coming out? Yep. Perfect. So how this works is there's a foot pedal. That's what charges the system. There's also an on, on, on off switch on the actual box. Of course, you do need an air compressor. So I guess that would be an added charge if you didn't have. And Harbor Freight, again, inexpensive, good stuff. Yeah. Want me to turn it? I got it.
so this is the hardest part is you have to get the powder coat to the tray where you're powder coating which is always the hardest part yeah just kind of pull there you go nice you can leave on that it's fine yep perfect yeah. we're gonna do the other one and check in with you guys Once you get it inside, every powder coat has a different temperature. This one's 400 degrees. Blake is gonna slide her on in without burning himself. This is the hard part. Sliding in. Perfect. Now, what you do is you close it. And 400 degrees, the timer starts whenever those, whatever your powder coating goes glossy. Mm -hmm. So this is 400 degrees for how long? 10 minutes? 15. 15 minutes. So we just have to watch this inside. When the powder turns glossy, that's when you know the parts at 400 degrees, that's when you start your timer. Yep. Easy enough? Should be easy. All right, so time is up. Um, now, you obviously turn off the heat. But you cannot just like take this out immediately. Right, we're just gonna open it and look at it. We're gonna let it sit and kind of cool It needs off. to cool down on its own or I, I've heard that it can crack, but I haven't experienced it, but I also don't rush it, you know I, what I mean? I just don't want to burn myself. So. Okay, let's see what they look like. Take a look. Take a look. They're nice and flat black. They're gorgeous. Those wiper arms have not looked this good since this car came off the assembly line. Correct. The great thing about powder coat is it's a permanent fix. It's not like spray paint where it's only temporary. This it's, is forever. It's self-leveling. You don't have to worry about getting it even. You just have to make every make sure everything is one solid color. So you exactly. can like overdo it, completely cake it on there, and it's the Perfect. same finish. Yeah. Yep. So we're gonna leave that and head to the next part. All right, part two today. We have this, which has the world's amount of overspray on it. It was a quick spray job, but they actually, besides from the overspray, did a really good job. No, the car. car itself is really nice. There's just a little bit of overspray on the cowl, a little bit on the glass that will come off. So we're gonna clean this thing. Gotta clean it. And this is gonna be the same process of when we did the interior, use the trim paint. Yep. Call it a day. All right, so we have... Uh, done a lot. Done a lot, yeah. So I've got the cowl out back drying right now. Just painted that. Uh, Rob has been polishing the hell out of this windshield. Uh, down at the bottom, there was a ton of overspray, and he's gotten the majority of it out, which is super cool. Uh, it looks way better. Uh, so we got that in process. I think that's probably at the point where we leave good enough alone. Yeah, I mean, there's still gonna be like some little itty bitty scratches in it. Yeah. But and for all I know, this is the original glass in the car. It is. It is for sure. <laughs> so it's got one chip in it. It's super frustrating because it was not chipped when I got it. Was it was the week after you got it, too. The week after I got it, we were going to a meet and. I watched the rock come off the tire of Rob's car straight into my windshield. It was super fun. Sorry. It's not your fault. So let's go check out this cow real quick. I haven't seen it yet. So, oh, wow. This is currently drying. It is night and day difference from what it was before. It had a ton of overspray on it. It was like silver. It looks really bad, but this, it's night and day. I think it's going to look incredible. I think you I know, got decent coverage. It was about six coats that I put on it. It's perfect. What do you think? It's perfect. All right. I think we need to show them the powder coat. 
Oh, let's check out the powder coat for sure. All right, back in the house. Oh, it is still hot. It's still super hot, but I think it's good. Should we? I think we can take it out now. You want to grab a... Oh, smart. Right on top? Yeah. My wife does uh, brewing, like DIY. Is it called brewing? Yeah. Home brewing. Home brewing, she yeah. She makes mead. She makes mead. I don't drink, but... I don't either. From what she says, it is delicious. All right, bring it on out. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. They're perfect. They are absolutely perfect. Those look pretty amazing. <laughs> wow. They look incredible. It's the way to do it, right? Yeah, these haven't looked this good since showroom. Perfect. All right, so one of the last things we have to do is we, this, the skyline needs new wipers, man. Yeah. So to get new wipers, you just have to measure them. I'm assuming that's a 21. Yep. 20, 20 and a half. And what's the other one? They're identical. Really? Yep. So two are the same. That makes things way easier, by the way. So two 21s should be good. Yeah. Two to AutoZone. Let's do it. All right, so we successfully went to the store and got some windshield wiper blades. Yes, we did. How's that? Should just peel right off. Yeah. Thank you. Toss. Toss. I'll get a roll of it at some point that we can just use for powder coating. Okay. So this is A, this is passenger side. Did the passenger side need to be shorter? Yes, passenger okay. side was shorter. This is a shorter one. It looks like this goes through here. And should just clip right in. It's a great thing about powder coat. Once you're done powder coating, the finish is on there. The finish is on there. There's no smudging it. You don't have to worry about being nice to it. You know what I mean? Let me take this cap off. All right, got the, uh, this one's A, marked as A. Let's see if you can see that. A, passenger side, good to go, snapped on. No B, a, just a little tight. A eh, little tight. Still have, still has its normal movement. Yeah, it's perfect. I will, and I will say, much better than these. <laughs> yeah. Those actually have overspray on them too, if I'm not mistaken. Oh yeah, you can see all the overspray. Easy enough to get those off. You'll see, we just use a little silicone tape and the tape comes right off. As long as you can get under it. <laughs> so we did that so that none of the powder coat got in the threads. It probably wouldn't have hurt anything doing it, but it's just one of those, like if it doesn't need to go there, it's better to, uh, not let it go. Not let it go there. Easy. And then those little clips go in the side piece first. There's a little channel on the back that it goes into. There we go. Cool. Bosch Icon wiper. wiper. These look brand new. These are ready to be installed. Cool. Happy? Yeah, oh yeah. I'm gonna work on getting that cowl back on. Nice. All right, so Blake is grabbing the cowl, which looks, how does it look, Blake? <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous. Don't tell me. Nine day difference from where it was. It's perfect. Let's go slap this thing back on. Yeah. All right, let me help you. I'll guide. Okay, my side has to go in first. I'm just holding it underneath. And then I think it's gonna have to go your way. Oh, I know how it needs to go. Oh, there you go. It looks so good. Make sure you're lined up really nice. Uh, I need to get that out. 
Wow, it looks flake. I it whole. I don't know if you guys can see that. It looks absolutely fantastic. What was that? One of the clips for the Caltrain. Oh, do we need it? That's a good snap. Okay, good. One more. It, oh my gosh. The, it looks OEM. It's good, right? It is good. Can you find those replacements? The cows? Yeah. I've looked, I've not had luck. Did it go in? Oh, wow. Is it time for the blades now that the new cowl, it's not even new. I'm saying new because it looks, looks new. new, doesn't it? Which one is that, A or? Driver. Driver? Oh my gosh. You know how crazy this is? It looks Wow. It's just crazy how much a little bit of paint and a little bit of like elbow grease will do, yeah. you know? Yeah. Is that really it? No. Mm -hmm. What's missing? What, what's that? What's that? The caps. Also freshly painted. Good job. Thank you. Last part. Stand back and enjoy our work. Let's see it. Let's see it. Like the overspray is gone. I'm super happy with this. So to recap, we did, so we removed the cowl, the wipers, powder coated the arms, replaced the blades, painted the cowl, painted the caps for the wiper arms, removed the overspray from the windshield, polished the windshield, which yes, you can polish glass. Uh, and it, has changed like this angle of the vehicle. This Here's vehicle. the crazy part. How long did this take us in total? Two and a half, three hours. That is the difference with powder coat everyone. It's like you can literally work on it right after it's done. That is the greatest thing ever. Mm -hmm. So. Good stuff. So I'm happy with that. I think we'll end this episode here. We'll end it there. Let's call so, it. So this might be a shorter video, but it just shows like just how you could take off a single piece that looks bad. As long as it's metal. As long as it's metal, powder coat it in an hour. Yeah, less. And you have a brand new, th th it looks like factory. It, Maybe it, probably better than factory. It, it looks better than factory, I think. I think. It's nice. So let us know in the comments down below. What do you think? Like, is this something that you're scared to do? Like, I was scared to do powder coating. How easy is it, Blake? It's it's super. It, listen, if I can do it, it's easy. Anybody can do it. it can. It's so easy. So take that little bit for yourself. Like, don't spend. Like, if you're gonna spend a hundred dollars to, let's say, powder coat two windshield wipers, spend the hundred bucks to buy the powder coating system so you could have it for a lifetime. Like it makes sense. 
Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you click the like button, button down below if you enjoy this new Skyline content. Uh, check out Blake's Instagram. Uh, link is in the description down below. You'll see a ton more really cool photos of this car. And we have a lot more coming for it. Is oh, that yeah. right? Oh, yeah. A lot more. So, thank you again. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys next time. Drive them on, enjoy. Bye, everyone.